In June 1972, a woman was admitted to the Cedar sinai Hospital in Los Angeles. She was young, beautiful, and heavily sedated. The doctors had no idea who she was or where she had come from. The medical staff called her, the expressionless, due to her lack of any facial expression. The woman's condition remained constant for weeks. She didn't respond to any treatment and never showed signs of improvement. The doctors were baffled by her mysterious condition and decided to conduct a series of tests. One night, a nurse was doing her rounds when she noticed something strange. As she entered the woman's room, she saw her sitting upright in bed, with her legs crossed and her head tilted to the side. The nurse was unnerved by the sight and approached the woman cautiously. The nurse tried to speak to her, but the woman remained silent. Suddenly, the woman's mouth opened and she let out a blood-curdling scream. The nurse screamed in terror and ran out of the room, alerting the other staff members. When the doctors and nurses returned to the woman's room, they found her lying back in bed, as if nothing had happened. The woman once again had a blank expression on her face. The incident left the medical staff shaken, but they couldn't explain what had just occurred. Rumors began to spread throughout the hospital about the mysterious woman. Some believed she was possessed, while others thought she was a victim of some terrible experiment gone wrong. The hospital staff grew increasingly fearful of her presence. One night, several days later, the woman vanished from her room. The staff searched the entire hospital but found no trace of her. Some suspected foul play, while others believed she had simply wandered off. To this day, the woman known as, the Expressionless, remains a mystery. No one knows where she came from or what happened to her. Some claim to have encountered her in their nightmares, while others believe she's still out there, waiting to be found. Whether fact or fiction, the Expressionless, has become a chilling tale that continues to haunt those who hear it. In a small village nestled deep within the woods, there lived an old woman named Agatha. The villagers whispered about her, believing she was a witch with dark powers. They feared her and avoided her whenever possible. One stormy night, a young girl named Emily got lost in the woods. She stumbled upon Agatha's cottage and, desperate for shelter, knocked on the door. Agatha opened the door, her eyes gleaming with an otherworldly light. Emily pleaded for help, and Agatha, though known as a witch, saw the innocence in the girl's eyes. She invited Emily inside, offering her warmth and safety from the raging storm outside. As the storm raged on, Agatha and Emily sat by the fireplace, sipping on herbal tea. Agatha shared stories of the forest and its ancient secrets. Emily listened intently, captivated by the old woman's words. When the storm finally subsided, Emily thanked Agatha for her hospitality and prepared to leave. As she stood at the door, she turned to Agatha and asked, Are you really a witch? Agatha smiled and said, Child, the world is full of magic if you know where to look. Some call me a witch, but I am merely a guardian of the woods, protecting its beauty and secrets. With those words, Agatha bid farewell to Emily, who left with a newfound respect for the mysterious woman. From that day on, the villagers realized that Agatha was not a witch to be feared, but a wise protector of the forest they held dear. And so, the tale of the witch named Agatha spread throughout the village, reminding everyone that appearances can be deceiving, and true magic lies in the heart and intentions of those who possess it. Deep in the attic of an old, crumbling mansion, there hung a dusty, ornate mirror. Legend had it that the mirror was once owned by a powerful witch who used it to cast malevolent spells on her enemies. The mirror had a sinister aura, and anyone who gazed into it would see unsettling visions of their darkest fears and desires. Many warned of its cursed nature and urged the mansion's owners to dispose of it, but they were captivated by its mysterious allure. One stormy night, a young woman named Amelia stumbled upon the mansion during her travels. Seeking shelter from the rain, she entered the abandoned house and made her way up to the attic. Amelia's eyes fell upon the mirror, its surface reflecting an eerie glow. Curiosity overcame her, and against her better judgment, she approached the mirror and peered into its depths. As Amelia stared into the mirror, her reflection twisted and contorted. She saw glimpses of her deepest fears and hidden insecurities. The longer she looked, the more the mirror seemed to draw her in, trapping her within its supernatural grasp. Suddenly, the mirror shattered into countless shards, releasing an eerie, otherworldly energy. Amelia screamed in terror as the fragmented pieces of the mirror surrounded her, enclosing her in a cage of enchanted glass. The mansion's owners, drawn by her screams, rushed to the attic. But when they arrived, all they found were scattered shards of the broken mirror and an empty space where Amelia once stood. To this day, people say that if you visit the old mansion, you can sometimes hear faint whispers echoing through the attic, as if the trapped souls within the mirror are still trying to communicate with the living. The cursed mirror serves as a haunting reminder that some objects hold dark and vengeful power, and it's best to heed the warnings and leave them undisturbed in the shadows where they belong. In a small town shrouded in legends, there was an old bookstore tucked away on a forgotten street. 
The bookstore's owner, an enigmatic woman named Esmeralda, was said to possess ancient knowledge of the occult. One day, a young man named Samuel stumbled upon the bookstore while seeking refuge from a storm. Intrigued by the whispers of Esmeralda's mystical expertise, he ventured inside, hoping to find a book that could answer his burning questions about the supernatural. Esmeralda greeted Samuel with a knowing smile and led him to a secluded corner of the shop. She presented him with a peculiar leather-bound book, its pages yellowed with age and adorned with cryptic symbols. This is no ordinary book, she whispered. It contains spells and rituals that can unveil the hidden truths of the world. But beware, for its power comes at a price. Samuel, undeterred by the warning, eagerly purchased the book. He spent nights engrossed in its pages, exploring the forbidden knowledge it held. As he delved deeper, strange occurrences began to unfold around him. Unexplained shadows danced on his walls, and whispers echoed through his dreams. He sensed a presence lurking just beyond his perception, always watching, always waiting. The line between reality and the supernatural blurred as he became entangled in the book's dark magic. Desperate to escape the clutches of the book's influence, Samuel returned to Esmeralda's bookstore, hoping she could offer guidance. But to his dismay, the bookstore had vanished, leaving behind an empty lot, as if it had never existed. Now trapped in a world of his own making, Samuel was left to grapple with the consequences of his insatiable curiosity. The book, its secrets, and the mysterious Esmeralda remained forever beyond his reach. Legend has it that those who seek forbidden knowledge must be prepared to face the consequences. The tale of Samuel and the witch's book serves as a chilling reminder that some doors should never be opened, for once unleashed, their power can consume even the most intrepid souls. Late one night, a weary office worker named Sarah found herself alone in the office building. She had been working late to meet a deadline and was eager to go home and rest. As she entered the elevator on the ground floor, she noticed an odd sensation, a chilling breeze that seemed to come from nowhere. Sarah pressed the button for the 10th floor, where her office was located. The elevator doors closed, and the ascent began. But as the elevator climbed, Sarah realized something was terribly wrong. The floors displayed on the digital panel started changing chaotically, rapidly cycling through different numbers. Feeling a rising sense of panic, Sarah pressed the emergency button, hoping to halt the erratic ride. But the button failed to respond. The elevator continued its ascent, seemingly unaffected by her desperate attempts to regain control. Suddenly, the elevator jolted to a halt, leaving Sarah stranded in darkness between floors. Anxiety gripped her as she anxiously pressed the button for the doors to open, but nothing happened. The silence was broken only by the sound of her pounding heart. Then, a faint whisper echoed through the elevator shaft, sending shivers down Sarah's spine. She strained to listen, but the words were barely discernible. It sounded like a voice pleading for help, a voice trapped in the endless void. Terrified, Sarah began to bang on the elevator doors, hoping someone would hear her cries for help. But her pleas went unanswered, and the eerie whispers grew louder, filling the confined space. Hours passed, and Sarah's strength waned. Exhausted and haunted by the disembodied whispers, she sank to the floor, resigned to her fate. Just as despair threatened to consume her, the elevator jolted back to life, resuming its ascent. With a final lurch, the doors opened, revealing the familiar sight of the tenth floor. Sarah stumbled out of the elevator, her body trembling with relief. The haunting whispers had ceased, replaced by the hum of the office's fluorescent lights. From that day on, Sarah avoided the office elevator at all costs. She could never forget the terrifying ordeal she had endured, the inexplicable journey into the realm of the unknown. The memory of the haunted elevator would forever serve as a chilling reminder that sometimes, the most ordinary of objects can become conduits to unimaginable horrors.